Stage two locks load is complete. And with that call out, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. The booster you see on screen is flying for the third time today, having previously supported CRS-26 to the International Ground Space Station and OneWeb Launch 16. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas this evening, which is currently positioned in the Atlantic Ocean off the east coast of Florida. Coming up next, we should hear that Falcon 9 is in startup mode. Falcon 9 is in startup. With that call out, we've heard that Falcon 9 is now on internal power and the batteries on board the first and second stage will manage Falcon 9 during liftoff and ascent. LD, go for launch. And as you just heard, the launch director has given us the final go to proceed for launch. Let's watch as Falcon 9 takes our 21 Starlink satellites into space. Minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Vehicles to check down range. Stage one chamber pressure is level. Just joining us, we are T plus 30 seconds into our mission today, and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at 6.13 p.m. Eastern Time. Power and telemetry is nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. With that call out, we hear that Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound, around 770 miles per hour. Max Q. Max Q is the period of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle that it will experience during flight due to the forces of thrust, gravity, and atmospheric pressure. So we're just about one minute away from several events happening in quick succession. These are gonna be main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start one, and fairing separation. Main engine cutoff is when all nine of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Stage separation will be when the first and second stages separate from each other prior to first stage re-entry. And second engine start one is when we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Shortly after that, fairing separation, we'll see both fairing halves separate from each other, then fall away from the second stage and return to Earth for recovery. Incredible views of the Earth behind Falcon 9 on your screen now. go. State separation confirmed. And back ignition. So we just heard confirmation for successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one, which you can see on your screen now. Coming up in just about 20 seconds, the fairing halves will separate from the second stage and fall back to Earth. Bearing separation confirmed. 
So there you saw and hopefully also heard fairing half separation. As a reminder, both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven as well. Both are flying for the second time and our booster for its third. We will attempt to recover the fairing halves again today using our recovery vessel, Doug. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, on the left-hand side of your screen, and our MVAC engine has been lit up on the second stage. If you're just joining us, today's mission is a SpaceX Starlink mission. And as most of you know, Starlink is a constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit, designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Stage one has lit one engine to prepare for landing on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. This final burn slows down the rocket to help it stick the landing on the drone ship. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing deploy. Great feedback from the, our team there, and of course, beautiful views confirming that we have successfully landed stage one. Seeker one. Nominal or parking orbit insertion. Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas.